My name's Ryan Late and I am a theatre designer. Today we're going to be looking at collage illustration. Today we are going to be looking at three different ways of collaging. The first is going to be called character heads, the second is going to be called text heads and the third is going to be looking at hands and line drawing. For this workshop you are going to need some plain paper, some old magazines, something printed off from the internet, I've printed off some hands, some glue, scissors, a pencil and coloured pens. So first of all we are looking through our magazines to find images to collage with. I'm interested in these radios because I think they'll make great heads for my characters. I'm going to start by cutting as many of these radios out as I can. So, now that I have my character head chosen, in this instance, the radio, I'm going to start by drawing in the neck, the shoulders and the arms. I'm not going to be too careful about this. I'm just going to get the basics down of the shape that I'm interested in creating. So you'll see a neck, shoulder line, one arm, one hand, and then another hand, the opposite side. I'm now going to fill in the body part, which essentially is going to be a square box with lines in it. And I'm going to draw in the leg section. Again, I'm not being too careful. Two legs and two giant feet. As a way of practicing, I'm going to repeat the same drawing three times and fill in as much detail as possible. Why don't you join me? Next, we're going to look at text heads. The idea is pretty much the same as before, but it's finding interesting text or font and using that to collage with. Placing our paper down and adding our text into the middle, we now collage in the same way. We imagine that the text forms a part of the head. Uh, I'm gonna line this out a little bit, just to give it a little bit more interest. And then gonna draw my neck in and my shoulders and my two arms. And you'll see that the character emerges. I do realise, of course, that I make this look more simple than it is. But let me challenge you today. How quickly can you get those lines down and see those characters emerge? Finally, 
we're going to look at hands. We are going to look at the direction of hands and how they then inform where our character might come from, the direction with which the character is looking. For instance, in this image, the hand is waving. So maybe the character's head sits somewhere here and the arm shoots up here. We will be led by the direction that the hand appears to be pointing. So there you have it, three examples of how to collage using images from magazines. I hope that this workshop has really inspired you to carry on drawing. If you want to join me again, then please do. I would love to see you. Goodbye.